over this next hour with my friend Sean is something that tens of thousands of you who watch QVC have picked up, brought home, and gone, this is finally the solution. It's called Dynatrap, and we are focusing quite a bit of time here to chat about it because what I'm presenting is officially the lowest price Dynatrap that we have ever offered at QVC, and that's significant because of what it can do and for how long it can do it in the packup that we're bringing you today. It's F13373. The long and the short of it is it replicates everything that that we as humans do outside that bring all the darn bugs to us. Only it does it over there while you're here having a great time. If you own a Dynatrap, please call me at 1-800-395-1601. I want to know if it's made your summer any easier. And one thing in particular we're going to be doing in this show throughout the entire hour is focusing on my Facebook page. That's Jennifer Coffee QVC, where you can ask us questions. You can post questions there. Um, if maybe we don't address anything that you have specific to the Dynatrap, and they'll throw them up on the screen for me, for Sean and I to address. But there's one thing missing, and that's Mr. Sean Pickford. Get out here. How are you? Happy summer. Good to see you. Good to see you. How are you? I'm doing great. I mean, it's finally cleared up today, right? So uh, finally. there's probably a lot of there barbecues and pool parties and all that kind of stuff. But it is true. I mean, with every yin, there's a yang. Right. And uh, th it's the bugs, right, that we just we can't stand. And we try to spray ourselves down and our kids down. And we get the bug zappers. But it seems like in many cases we're fighting a losing battle. Pretty much, because yeah. that's a temporary fix. So we want to make it a permanent fix. We want to have something that can draw the bugs to it. But once they draw them to it, they capture them and don't just push them away so they come back tomorrow. Right, there's no coming back. So what we're bringing to you today, I'll basically just break down your choices. There's only two. It's super easy. And Sean will help um, you figure out at home which one's best for you. There's two different sizes. One is half acre coverage, and the other is full acre. All right, and so that's the two different sizes that you're seeing here. In addition, we are giving you the mounting hardware if you choose to mount it. And you can also hang it on a shepherd's hook, and we'll help explain and show that to you as well. Look, however, at the price on your screen. This is something that only in this month, I think, Sean, you've been that's bringing to us at this kind of a price point. You're exactly right. It's incredibly good. So if you're going with the half acre choice, for most people, that's just your traditional house yard, and we'll talk about front versus backyard, and should you have coverage there too. Six easy payments of $12.00 which is probably like a couple of cans of the chemical bug spray, oh, right? <laughs> definitely. <laughs> that stinks me up, rinse yes. it off in the shower, ah, okay. Yes. And then the full acre coverage, that's on six easy monthly payments of not much more actually, $19.67. And we're doing something different, non-traditional at QVC where typically we offer you 30 days to try something out. And certainly you'll see that difference within 30 days. But we're giving you 90 days to try, 90 days, we'll be well into fall. <laughs> well, and that's the beauty of this. We give you the 90 days so you can actually see it working because we're really trying to break the life cycle of that pesky mosquito. And you need some time to do that. Sure. Because their life cycle can be anywhere from two weeks to 30 days. So by giving you that extended time, you can see it work. You can enjoy the deck, the patio, the pool, whatever it might be. Right. Instead of doing this. Instead of all this. Instead of all the sprays. And then sprays, the next morning. And, uh, yeah. You know. I mean, we've all been there. This of is course. a much better way to do it. Yeah. No, this show actually, you might go, wow, just, you know, talking about a bug trap or whatever. I grew up in New Orleans. All right. You know bugs. I know bugs. I, we used to hear my brother and I be outside playing and we'd hear the trucks coming that yeah. sprayed the air full of chemicals. We have to run inside, right? Dynatrap works chemical free. So what Sean's going to do now, if you don't mind, is kind of explain to us that it, it, it's really not making any noise. I see a light, right? So what is it doing that's helping to rid my, air, my yard of mosquitoes and so much more, by the way? Okay. So there's six nasty pests. The mosquitoes, the flies, the wasps, the hornets, the moss, and stink bugs. We uh, stink bugs. Right. So those six <laughs> pests are drawn to us as human beings. All right. The ones you're seeing here on your screen, the mosquitoes, the flies, the wasps, the hornets, stink bugs, and moss. They're drawn to us for three reasons. Light, warmth, and carbon dioxide. What the Dynatrap does is mimics us as human beings. It has light, it has warmth, and it gives off carbon dioxide. The same thing you and I breathe mm -hmm. every time we take a breath. Right. Those bugs, and especially the mosquitoes, can smell our breath a hundred feet away. away. They know when you come outside. People always say, they know when I step outside. You bet they do. Yeah, they do. They can smell your breath. They're drawn to us. They are drawn to us because they want to bite us. Unfortunately, they need to bite us to get a protein from our blood so they can have more mosquitoes. Those other guys, the other pests, same thing. They want to bite us because, you know what, we're sweet. All right? Well, that is true. That's the way it goes to them. We are a treat. <laughs> so. By plugging the Dynatrap in, and that's all you have to do, that's the one number one requirement people make the biggest mistake. Plug it in, leave it run. There's a 10 foot cord that comes with each one. If that's not long enough, plug it into the an extension, extension cord. cord. Okay. You want it anywhere from three to six feet off the ground. Okay. 
We have one back oh, yeah, there, it's about couple. three feet. We have one back there that's about five feet off the ground. Okay. Now, that's what we call the fly zone. That's where those flying insects spend most of their time. That's the average height of most human beings between three and six feet. Right. So by doing that, we're really mimicking us. Now, there's a powerful fan down in each one of these. So when that light goes on, it warms the plate, gives off the carbon dioxide, and when those six nasty pests get close enough to the Dynatrap, the fan inside sucks them down into the trap. They go into the trap, and that's where they expire. So they can't come back the next day, or the day after, right. or Nor the day after. Nor can they kind of hover around and go, whoop, no human. I'm right. off to, you know, yeah. better pastures. Th those it's insects have terrible torn. eyesight, so they're basing it on the smell and right. the light and the warmth. That's what's really attracting them. So plug it in, leave it plugged in. The half acre unit costs all of three cents a day to operate. The full acre unit, 10 cents a day to operate. Now I went on vacation a week ago, uh -huh. came back. And I'm like, wow, I have mosquitoes. What's wrong? Uh, somebody accidentally unplugged my Dynatrap. And that fast, within seven days, I could tell the difference just being outside. Now, we've also had a ton of rain here on the East Coast. Well, that was my next question because, um, and we talked about this before the show, I said, okay, but we are in late July. Right. So my concern was that people would watch and go, well, if I waited out a few more weeks, then we're probably past that season. First of all, I don't want to wait any more longer to go outside and enjoy the outdoors before, you know, the crisp of autumn and winter comes in. But you were saying, actually, particularly with the rains that have come through here in the Northeast, we're looking at a whole lot well, more mosquito season. Yeah, because there's a lot more places for those mosquitoes to lay their eggs. So because we've had so much moisture and it's standing water, there's more places for them to lay their eggs. It's almost like it's extending the season this year. Yeah. So normally it's really hot and dry right now. All those places that they normally lay their eggs yeah. are, are drying up. That's not the case well, here. Not to mention, I know we focus on mosquitoes because obviously those are the ones that bite us and you know we don't like them. But don't forget that graphic that we showed you earlier that showed you six different bugs, a lot of which go heck into fall and and winter well, as yeah, well. Yeah, the moss definitely, the stink bugs. If you haven't experienced the stink bugs, oh, you're gosh. lucky because I didn't experience horrendous. them until I moved up here and I'm like, so, oh, it's all the hubbub. And then I'm like, nobody oh my likes, gosh. Nobody likes getting bit by any type of bee, anything like that. Now, there are certain types of uh, pollinators that we don't attract. The honeybees and the butterflies. They're two good insects. We need more of them around. They are not, so attracted, not attracted to, to the Dynatrap. Because they don't bite us. They're not attracted to carbon dioxide and the light and the warmth. Exactly. So here's what I'd love to do. Show you some videotape that kind of illustrates visually what Sean's been talking about, how this works. And then already we have some questions coming in on Facebook. Perfect. So here we go. So when you get it home, take it out of the box. You, you're going to put it together. They twist together. No tools required. The bulbs are already in there. You plug it in. The UV light turns on. It's a special color light that they're really attracted to. It warms a plate that gives off carbon dioxide. When those pests get close enough, the powerful fan sucks them down into the retaining cage where they expire. We ask you to check the cage. This is actual footage of mosquitoes flying to the Dynatrap oh, and realizing no. at the wrong sorry, point, guys. Uh -oh, there's Not nothing sorry. here to see, but too late, the fan sucks them down into the bottom where they expire. Now, that's a good thing because one female mosquito can lay 200 eggs at a time. In her life cycle of about 30 days, that could be 600 hundred more mosquitoes. And they all stay in a very small square footage. Pretty much if they're on your property, they were born on your well, property. Okay, so what's this? It looks like a bucket of dirt. Well, that holding. was one of the QVC show hosts last year here in the <laughs> Westchester area. That is two weeks worth of insects from their uh, Dynatrap. Yeah, so you can see the bigger bugs. You can see the moss and stuff like that. People say, well, I can't see the mosquitoes. You can't see the mosquitoes when so they're, they're all alive. dried out. It's so when they're all dried out and stuff mosquitoes. like that, that's what you're seeing in there. That's the Thousands. Problem of them yes right so, so they're in here and they're in not here yeah they're, they're not, not on you on they're, here. Not crawling. they're not reproducing out right. here they're not sitting in the standing waters that may be near your pool or in puddles or in buckets or anything else on your property they're trapped you remove and the more you trap and remove therefore the fewer that are on your property to reproduce so the longer you leave it out the fewer you even have to trap to begin with. That's it. So that's why Sean often recommends check this early when you first get it. Yeah. Because that instant gratification and impact of the reduction in pests in your yard is going to be shown in here. But the longer you use it, you'll notice there's fewer and fewer because there are fewer and fewer that are reproducing. That's so it. So it really is an investment. 
that pays off dividends in the comfort, the relaxation, the enjoyment of the property that you made an investment on, that you maintain, that you maybe have beautiful patio furniture and barbecue pits out there, but as soon as you get outside, unless you're burning expensive you, citronella candles and spraying you get chased yourself indoors. down, you get chased indoors, right? Marge on Facebook, by the way, we're taking questions on my Facebook page. It's Jennifer Coffee QVC. That's where you can see this show streaming live, but in the chat underneath, you can post questions. Obviously, I can't see them right now, so our producers are posting them on our screen. And Marge is asking, uh, can this be left out in the rain? Yeah, that's yeah. the great thing about this. It's designed to be left out in the rain, the thunderstorms, all yep. that kind of stuff. They're really durable. They're made out of the same things that crash helmets are made out of. Uh. So just go ahead and plug it in. Let it work during the rain. So, I mean, once that rain stops, those bugs come out right, right away it's again. It's feeding so, season. Right. right. So leave it plugged in. It's safe to do that. You're good to go. Okay. So let's revisit the offer here because certainly this isn't the first time we've offered Dynatrap at QVC. In fact, this offer is in response to how popular the Dynatrap has right. been at QVC. Only this is the most affordable, fancy talk for, lowest price Dynatrap we've ever offered. N to answer probably the immediate question of, well, why is it or how is it the lowest price? It's the exact same models that we've been bringing to you. It comes with one set of bulbs. And my question to Sean was, ooh, okay, one set of bulbs, is that how long is that gonna last us? So four to six months. So you're gonna get through the rest of this <laughs> season the with the, the bulbs year. in there. So that's the great thing about it. If you do need replacement bulbs, whether you bought this from day one five yep. years ago when we had it or today we have the same bulbs and we do have them in stock right we have them in stock right now at qvc.com yeah. so here are your choices the larger one in front of me is the one acre version and then the smaller one in front of sean is the half acre version any recommendation i mean obviously i've, I've given everybody a size here but i am also thinking okay well i have a small front well, yard and a small backyard do i get the one acre to cover everything or do i get two half acres what great question yeah. because a lot of people want to make sure that they're getting the attraction and capture in the front yard and the backyard if you want to do that and your house is in the middle yeah. you unfortunately you have to get two because it doesn't work through your house your house is like a brick wall it's a barrier it doesn't work through it, Got it. so you would get one for the front yard one for the backyard you could do a half acre half acre in my case i have an acre of property the house is a little bit more towards the front i don't spend any time out front i don't have oh, anything okay. out front but i do have a full acre in the backyard and i do have a half acre in the garage because my kids like to leave the garage door up all day oh. long the pests get out of the sun and the heat hide in the garage you close the garage oh, door at night that. then right. they're trying to sneak into your house so you can use this indoors course, as well as indoors. outdoors right or right. what if you have like a, a large work shed yeah. or something that and you we do it in. in the acre and half acre because that's how properties are sold everybody knows oh i have a half acre sure. a third of acre quarter acre two acres what it might be it's right. easier to understand what size you might need for the size of your property perfect okay um leo on facebook i, I believe we just answered your question though but just to readdress it leo wants to know how long did the bulbs last you said four to six months four is to that six regardless of the size that's regardless okay. of the size so you'll see that the bulb is already going to be in there with yours the one you'll notice is if the color starts to be really dull then it's time to change your bulb that's it. what it is some may last a little bit longer that's just the way it goes i mean most people change them once per season so they'll run them for six or eight months then they'll change them it's just when the bulbs get a little duller, you don't get as much attraction. That's all there is to it. That's why we recommend you the four to six months. Excellent. Okay, let's break down the price for you again. And, and you, can, uh, you can compare this to, oh, I don't know, cans of insect repellent, repellent or um, citronella jar candles, right, that burn down and then you have to replenish them. Or the um, zappers that are out there, which every time they zap, I'm reminded of what's happening, right? Yeah, they're like, electrocuting just not think and it. splattering I know. the guts everywhere. And thinking, really there's another one, to. and you're trying to have like a nice romantic dinner <laughs> outside, and bzz, you know. So that that's not the look, right? Let's go with this. Which, by the way, if I'm silent for a second, which goes against everything that I yeah, like. There's like, two of them yeah, on here. There's so two of them running. You Actually, don't know they're four running. Four of them on the set. Your refrigerator you probably anything. makes more noise. <laughs> that it absolutely does every time it dumps the ice. Okay, here's the full acre version. Your prices are right there on the screen, but you'll also see, by the way, how much they should cost right. as compared to what they do cost today. Retail value, for example, on the large of the two is $189.66. Our price is $118 or even better. Utilize any credit or debit card. And you could divide that into six easy monthly payments of $19.67. You have 90 days to try it out before you even have to decide. Send it back if you're not seeing a difference. And then in the half acre version, look at that, $72.00 versus over $50 more, the retail value of $123.73. And today our easy pay is 12 
dollars to get it home. Now, as you can see, it comes with the hook on top. In some of our videotape, you'll see it hung on a shepherd's hook. We, of course, offer the shepherd's hook if right. you want to pick that up too, or maybe you already have one on your property. Yeah, I mean, I have one hanging in a pine tree that's tied up with a rope. You can put it on a shepherd's hook. You can stand it on something. You can mount it on a fence. The half acre comes with a chain and a mounting bracket. The full acre, you can put it where you want. The shepherd's hook will hold it. Mm -hmm. So you want to put it about 20 feet away from where you're going to be. Don't put it in the center. Yeah, don't of the put it like table. we're standing. Yeah. Right, because you might be a snack on their way there to figure out what the Dynatrap is. That's truly what it, how it works. Oh. So instead of you doing this, yeah, that's what we can 